Dorothy in Dutch with Dutch Scrapbooking, and this is a packet called uh, Four Seasons. This is the springtime packet, and I just love all of the pale, the pastel colors for the spring, and I'm just showing you that uh, these are the designs you get. You get a yellow stripe, pink polka dot, a nice wood pattern, and a nice kind of lime green, spring green color, and then you've got a dotted pattern, and I love this blue background flower. And that's what a floral, and that's what I'm going to uh, use. Today I'm going to make a fun fold card that is a real easy card. So I'm going to cut a piece that is 12 inches by 5 and a quarter. So um, I've got my little score tool here. And I'm sorry, I'm off camera. There is this 2 inch fold, uh, 4 inch score rather six inch score, pull my arm out and making a score at eight inches. So we've got a two inch, a four inch, a six inch, and an eight inch score. Then we're going to do, like I said, this is a very simple fold card. So this is an accordion pattern of fold. So we're going to fold towards, I'm going to use my bone folder to get a good good fold here, and then the next one, then the 4 inch, and then the 2 inch. And I'm just getting a good crease on those papers. And so I'm going to put a piece of, I think it's 3, 3 and, what is it, 3 and a half by four and three fourths piece of white cardstock there. And I'm going to stamp on that. That's going to be where my um, sentiment is going on the inside. You can either use your Tombow runner or if you want to use, you know, a liquid glue, either, either one. I'm just showing both. The nice thing about the liquid glue is you can kind of scooch things around uh, easily. So I have these two, two and a half inch glitter circles on glitter cardstock, and I really like those with the color in the paper. And so I'm going to put a white glitter one on the center. Now you want to keep the glue away from the um, open edge. And I'm just kind of putting it in the center. Now you don't have to use a circle. You can totally use and I'm messing up here. You don't want to put it all over. You want to just keep it on, keep the open edge without any glue. So I'm having to wipe some off. You can use squares, rectangles, bracket patterns, you know, whatever kind of fancy cut you've got, whatever you want to use to uh, put your sentiments on. And so I'm just going to let that sit and dry for a bit. So now I'm going to uh, get my sentiments ready. And I've got two two inch circles. So the uh, glitters are two, two and a half inches and uh, the sentiment ones are two inch circles. So I have some smaller sentiments that um, I want to use these for. That and uh, I've got a cute little watering can filled with flowers. It's so adorable. So I have thinking of you and um, just making sure I'm getting a good stamping. I just washed the stamp, which instead of using my micro fiber cloth, uh, that's damp. So the stamp is, is kind of too wet. Anyway, always use your microfiber cloth. It's a much better way of cleaning. So I've got enough of the water off of it and I'm using my little spongy pad I could use the back of my cutting mat also. So I'm giving a good press to that and it came out perfect. And I'm going to, because I'm putting white on white, I want to just give a little a, a definition to the edge of the circle. So I'm just inking it with a sponge just for the definition. 
And then I remember, oh wait, it's going on glitter, so I have to use liquid because Tombow and glitter, um, it doesn't, the uh, Tombow doesn't, uh, the Tombow runner doesn't adhere very well to the glitter cardstock. So you want to use liquid for that. Foam, the foam tape to raise up the, also works okay on the um, glitter. So I used Capri, and the reason why I used Capri is that's one of the colors in this particular um, group of papers. So on the back of our zip strips, it always tells us all the colors that are um, in the pattern, so we can make sure and match our inks to the paper. So um, I am using, now for this one, I'm using the Intense Black, and this is an absolutely adorable little watering can with hearts coming out of it and flowers coming out of it. It's so cute, but the Intense Black is perfect because it um, dries quickly. I flipped my paper over because that stamp was also too wet. So I went and got, got my microfiber cloth and decided to clean it. So here we go. This is gonna be much better. So this is an M stamp called Watering Can. It's so cute. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and color uh, using my markers. And you know, when you use the Intense Black, you could also use Archival Black if you want, but I like the quickness of the Intense Black. It dries very quickly and uh, you know gives a clean stamp. And uh, when you color with the markers, it doesn't run. So perfect for me. So I love this. I think this is just so adorable. So I got a bunch of my tri-blend markers. I got um, the alpine green and yellow and pink and a gray. I'll, I'll put a list below which, which markers I used. So what I like about the tri-blends is you get three different shades of the same, it's the same color, different shades. So they blend perfectly together because they are the same color. So I'm using the dark one for the uh, strap kind of leaves and the lighter one for the smaller leaves. I'm making some little blue flowers. They're both the same flowers, so I thought I'd make them all blue. And then I'm gonna use the light pink on this flower. And there's teensy little flowers in there that I'm making super dark pink because they're so tiny that if I made them real dark, I'm using the medium for the um, centers of the flowers. And the hearts are getting the medium pink for the, it is ah, so cute. It's just so cute. Okay, so I'm using the light gray because I can always darken it if I want. So I'm just kind of seeing how the gray looks with, you know, I'm thinking in terms of a galvanized watering can, but you know, watering cans come in all sorts of pretty colors of plastic too. But I kind of wanted a neutral for the flowers. We've got a lot of color going on here. So I'm making the uh, handle and the spout and the uh, top bracket, it's, um, the darker gray. Actually, I think it's the medium gray. And then I'm outlining just to add a little bit of shadowing to the water can. And then I kind of want to blend it with the with the light, but it kind of kind of blends it all together. So it really makes my my little pink heart stick out on that gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the liquid on there because this is going on the little green circle, glitter circle. And I'm gonna let that dry for, for a little bit while I'm working on the inside of the card. So Joyful Sunflower is still available and it's got a sentiment saying, sending sunshine your way, but look at, that's one of the die cuts. Make a little fence, you've got all these beautiful sunflowers to come over the fence. It's just a really wonderful stamp. Um, I've made scrapbook pages using the stamp with the fence because I love a picket fence. I mean, that's a, a split rail fence. That's not a picket fence. It's a split rail fence. Love those. 
So I'm going to go ahead and use the Capri again because it's a, you know, it's a strong enough color on the white. And it came out looking great. So I have Thinking of You and there's a little watering can of the flowers and then sending sunshine your way. So I'm just using my microfiber cloth. That's a carrier for the microfiber cloth and it's got openings so that it, it won't sour. So here we go. So I have one more thing that I wanna do and well, actually a couple more things. This is the zip strip that comes from this paper. And so I am going to run it along the edge there just to give a little decoration to the edge. So cute, those flowers. And then I've got Flamingo Shimmer Trim because I love Shimmer, shimmer Trim. <laughs> and um, look how pretty that is. And this is Flamingo, so it goes with the paper. So I'm just cutting it. I had my scissors at an angle, so it's the cut is a little bit of an angle, so I've got to straighten that out. There we go. Just making it as even as I can. It's much easier to do that when it's not attached to anything. So there's my card, and then I want to add a backing to it, just to give it a little bit more um, dimension, pop, whatever you want to call it. So this is the four and a half by four and a quarter. So that's the true a2 card size, the four and, four and a quarter by five and a half. And that is going on the outside of this. Because if you remember, the floral piece was cut at five and a quarter. So that gives an eighth of an inch going all around. And there's my card. And look at how simple this is. And this is like a very, very easy to do. Um, and if you don't have a scoring tool, you can also use the bone folder in your trimmer to make the, the scores. So there we go. So I hope you like it. I'm looking for sunshine. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.